Well, here I am in front of the Mac Pro 1.1 running Lion. I have inserted a couple of other drives into the machine, and I'm about to do something that I have not done in many, many, many years. I'm not really sure when the last time was. I have inserted a disk in the super drive. And the super drive is spinning up. And there we see. Okay, so we are going to shut down. And we'll be back. All right. I'm going to turn the machine on. And hold down the C key in the keyboard. Ah, oh, the boot time. Okay, once the Apple logo appears, I can let go. And we have booted into the super drive, which has the installer for Mac OS X. 10.4 Tiger. This is the operating system that was initially on this machine when it came from the factory. Well, let's hope this works. Full disclosure, I have tried this twice. Once I realized I had neglected to turn the camera on. Darn. The second time I skipped this checking of the installation DVD. So this time I'm gonna let it run and let's hope this all works.
Okay, that took about 20 minutes just to check the CD. Uh, aren't you glad that through the magic of DaVinci Resolve, I was able to fast forward through that? That took a long time. Okay. Yep. And I put in disc two, which fortunately I have. This is a long process.
Son of a gun. It says it's installed. And disconnected. That took over an hour. I'll be darned. It's a welcome video. I haven't seen those in forever. Oh, this takes me back. <laughs> it actually worked. And I've been recording this entire thing for posterity. Hmm. Oh, transfer. This is actually nice. It found my network. Forgive me while I type around the tripod. Well, it's worth the line. Is it really going to insist that I fill this entire thing in and register software that goes back to the first decade of this century? More questions. Hard to believe. Oh, well. I'll be darned. And here we are in Mac OS 10.4 Tiger. About this Mac is always there. Okay, so it's going to update us. The installer gave us 10.4.7. And that update will bring us to 10.4.11. Well, we're going to do that. around the darn tripod. Okay.
tell you what, you've seen that we're in Tiger. This has been going on for an hour and a quarter now. Now, obviously I will have edited that and it's gonna take me forever to edit. Uh, why don't I stop this and we will pick it up later. Indeed, that was all last night. It was about an hour and a half more than that. I mean, it it's amazing that we used to have to go through that routinely to install software, particularly something as complex as an operating system. Uh, Tiger was a great operating system. Uh, I think it's where OS X really matured. Some people would say Jaguar. Jaguar is when it became first really usable. Uh, Panther is when I jumped into it. And I love Panther. But Tiger, Tiger did a lot of things. Uh, it was, it was quite something. So, anyhow, uh, the other thing about Tiger, of course, Tiger was, I believe, the longest lived operating system for Apple. It was the current operating system for about four years, got 11 point updates. Uh, of course, one of the big reasons for that, well, first of all, it was a really good version. Secondly, it was right during the Intel transition. Tiger was the first OS that would work on either the PowerPC Max or the Intel Max. Leopard, which followed it, also did the same thing. Could work on either one. Snow Leopard was the first that would only run on the Intel Max, and that was that was the the death knell of the Power PC. Uh, well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, where what's going to come with with this? Uh, I do intend to try to install El Capitan. El Capitan is the the most recent version of the OS that will actually run on this machine, although you've got to do some stuff to get it to run. Uh, in, in terms of having a usable experience, that's probably it. Uh, and beyond that, I mean, maybe a, maybe a Linux distro too, uh, would, which would actually get a real modern operating system on there. <sighs> but it wouldn't be Mac. Anyhow, it's been a lot of fun, and I do hope you've enjoyed it.